Hey, what's up, YouTube? Jason here with White Mind Bits, episode numero 740. In today's video, I'm going to go back over the last month and respond to some comments and answer some questions. And yes, I'm going to try to do my best to do timestamps for you to ignore 90% of the stuff that I'm talking about. So let's do this. Before I actually get into the questions, I do want like a little prerequisite, like pre whatever conversation about what, you know, the current state of BNB headquarters over here, some projects I'm working on and just, you know, some realizations I'm coming to myself that I have to accept and try to fix to get better. First of all, I have this like super weird attic switch fan cooler thing that is totally over engineered, not in the right way. I'm perfecting that. I'm going to put that up in the attic in order to keep my attic switch cool because Whenever it gets about 125 to 130 degrees up in the attic, that switch starts kind of power cycling itself. Also, about a month ago, I started installing an RGB, uh, the CW, CCT, whatever it is. I started to install a bunch of RGB lights. I got to a certain checkpoint and then I just checked out. Uh, like one of those will have to do it later. I started to install a bunch of RGB lights. I got to a certain checkpoint and then I just checked out. Uh, like one of those will have to do it later. But the thing is messy, it's half done, it's giving me a bunch of, you know, just weird, like, get this done type of deal. So that's gonna be on the way. And the exciting thing about that video, I think, is gonna be the integration into Home Assistant, not necessarily just setting up LED lights, but so far I've gotten some motion sensors, they dim in, they dim out. I just have to put them on the rest of all of the counters, which surprisingly takes a lot of wiring when you're trying to make it, like, look good. If you've ever tried that, it, it just sucks. Also, I have it on my list, not for today, or hopefully this extended weekend of mine, I want to get back into Omada, uh, the TP-Link Omada system. I want to check out to see if they upgraded their graphics user interface because mainly I tried it out, wasn't super impressed. Their agreement with me was like, replace you, your Ubiquiti gear, and I have way more money, just way more hardware in Ubiquiti gear than that, you know, the regular TP-Link Omada system that they sent me with the limited components would be able to take over and actually be an improvement. However, I am thinking about getting everything set up, tweaked and everything like that, and then deploying that at my workplace because I manage the network and all that other stuff. So I think based off of all the different features that you have with that system, especially if they upgrade and add or more, I'm gonna start exploring that avenue because I do want to use that system. Let's go ahead and jump right in. The first question is from, that's the note screen, that is not the, okay. Mikey said, this might be a good time to message you since it's the end of the month. I'm looking for an AI to detect and then have Alexa announce the person coming to the door. Any ideas? Mike, I have absolutely no idea about a system getting that set up just because I've never even set something like that up. I know there's plenty of like AI cameras that can say, uh, send you a message or an alert and say that there's an AI uh, generate or a human generated and verified by the AI. Uh, the Synology is one of them. Blue Iris can do it as well, although I'm not sure I got that tweaked correctly. But there are definitely options to do that. I just, I don't have a good enough answer to that i definitely recommend going online in amazon and youtube watching videos looking at reviews and finding the best one for for you next one is from benden and dealer he said is the power lines causing the noise this was on my synology camera thing where i had this like really low rumble in the back of the thing in the or in the background noise of all the video and it is possible technically that the background noise from the power lines behind my behind my house caused some interference my only issue and the reason why I brought it up is because I set it up in multiple places in my house that was away from these electronics and the cable that ran to that jack is heavily insulated. I mean, it's a super th just big boy cable. Um, I'm not saying it's impossible, but the last actual real evidence that it's possibly that camera is that I've used the same system to test up Amcrest cameras with audio. And I never was able to be distracted by the white ambient noise humming thing that this particular uh, Synology camera featured. So that's why it was kind of a big deal for me. And if I was looking right now to just go out and buy a camera, it would probably still be an Amcrest camera, not only for the price, but also for just the built-in AI that can work a little bit better with Blue Iris. And um, as does an added bonus, hopefully I won't have a very large hum. So. That's really good. Next question. Tim, he said, have you looked into Ubiquiti's Unified Protector? Other than the need in a UDM or, or UNVR, my G4 bullet solves, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, I have a Synology. It has two slots for the DVR system. I can put two SSDs drives in there. No, it has one slot, sorry. I can put a drive in there and it kind of keeps a few days of footage. And I have that running back up on very critical systems just in case my main DVR system goes down. So yes, I have looked into the Unify Protect. I still run, I have it running today. Um, you know, it, it, it's okay. Like, it's not bad. Like, it's pretty good. I just, you know, I like Blue Iris. So making that full-on switch, there's just nothing for me to make me actually want to do that full switch. The next one on the Synology camera, uh, this is from Amigo Geek. He says, can you please make a comparison video between Synology and QNAP? Can you, QNAP seems to be, uh, the, okay, I'm going to stop you right there. When it comes to QNAP, I like both the systems. They all have uh, strengths and weaknesses. But the one thing that got me is that Synology uses or has their own entire home backup software solution. I can just plug in the client, set it to automatically run its task, and then based off my schedule, do a, uh, a complete backup of like all the hard drives, all certain folders, stuff like that. And this is all handled through an application called, uh, and this is all handled through a software that they provide for free called Security Station. QNAP just does not compare to what Synology has to offer on that thing. But Synology really is just kind of my NAS of choice. Next question is from Blue Gizmo 1983 Okay, my attic switch is a failure, or you could, I don't know, Maybe stop putting electronic devices in the attic where your ambient temperatures are regularly hitting 150 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit during summer, you dumb f Well, yeah, that's absolutely right, but I just kind of wanted to see how that would work, and I really get tired of running more wires. So, you know, I agree, but on the flip side of that, it's been super convenient to just have a PoE switch in the attic. And for multiple years, at least a couple years, it's worked. Yes, I, might, I am making an abomination of a cooling system, like supply thing, but I think I can keep it going for another few years. It's a little over-engineered, but it makes things way simpler. Uh, that would not only be controlling that attic switch and stuff. Anyways, I'm adding more and more stuff. It's going to be easier to get it running and, you know, all is well. So far, I can't say any super negative thing about having it in the attic, aside from the fact that I have to climb up into the attic in order to change or surface it. Dark Web 6969. I love ESP2. Very compatible little things. Once you flash with custom firmware, you never have to update it. And the big advantage over the Raspberry Pi is you were keeping the OS updated. Uh, that wouldn't have been hard to... Okay, so this he's referencing the uh, ESP32 that I used for my little attic fan switch. It cliff notes TLDR. This should come out hopefully soon. Uh, I'm controlling every single fan individually, monitoring every single fan RPM individually. I can turn them on and off individually. I got the temperature sensors going, so I could you know, hopefully set up some sort of an automation. That way it's not freezing cold and blowing a lot of air. But I redesigned the entire thing, so it's not the like jankity four minutes made out of wood and, and just a, a nail gun. I actually got some aluminum, cut it down, and I want to make it look a lot better. My only hurdle right now is that even though I made the circuitry in order to make sure everything works correctly, I do have to clean it up so I don't fry another uh, ESP32 because I fried one. You know, mistakes were made, but I fried one. Either way, the attic switch is installed. It works stupid well for what it does. So. You know, I think a little fan is a small price to pay to keep it going for another couple of few years. Next is Americana's Worth, which by the way, congratulations on your surgery. I hear you're getting like 60% filling down back there after that accident, so that's pretty cool. He said you want to run Christmas lights in July. I don't know about that because it's gonna take a lot of lights. I've, another video planned, I have been messing with stupid, and I mean stupid, bright LGD strips or LG, RGB WCCT strips and my own Zigbee controllers. I put them in the tree ring in my landscape and I put them in to the bushes where they show up at night. These things are so bright that I can't go over like four or five percent without them just being obnoxiously bright. And since I've installed them into my kitchen, or at least 60% of them into my kitchen, uh, that is already bright with that motion sensors and all that it turns on. Um, so, you know, I might have overpurchased and got LED strips way too big. But 
Um, his Christmas lights referral that he's talking to is that I want to take those same concepts that I've now put outside and tested for a while, uh, which get directly rained on, and I'm going to put those in the uh, under edge of the out exterior of the house. That way people don't see them from the outside, but they can very lowly just, you know, light up all the curves and, and shit like that. So yes, I can use this as Christmas lighting, or I can have a very, very small accent lighting running at night, which... I don't know, that might look tacky, but permanent Christmas lights for me, that actually sounds kind of cool. Next question is from Dan. Just FYI, I'm pretty sure we'd all watch a B&B house cleanup episode. Uh, I'm sure it would be as entertaining. You know what? I don't think so. Matter of fact, I'm gonna give an example. Like, that. don't, <sighs> try not to judge me too much, but there's a camera and there's my workbench with 15 different projects. I got a bunch of crap on the ground over there. Go over here, the powers, all that stuff. I got, you know, boxes. I have torn apart electronics. Basically, if you don't get it, when I say I need to clean up, I'm absolutely disgusting and I don't pick up after myself and I really don't want to do it. So, making a video specifically on that seems pretty trashy. Um, but I'm totally down to do it because I'm trashy. Next question is from Jarsk. The reason I stay here is exactly because the channel is a disaster. Keep doing what you like to do. I love seeing the enthusiasm. Thank you. I do my best not to be as professional as possible. And by do my best, I mean I'm not a professional, so I suck at it. But I turn my channel into what is the squirrel thing that Jason is doing today. And it's been fun because I get to mess with and play around with and tweak things and get just, you know, new stuff. And it's not monotonous, boring, stuff like that. So, uh, honestly... Thank you for the compliment. I know my channel is a disaster, but I have fun a lot of the times, 80% of the time, of just playing with new technology just to see what it can do because I am such a technology enthusiast. And next question, th actually, that was the last question. So, well of always, all of my YouTube members help support and I dedicate my Jason Bites Back video to all of those people. So thank you guys for being members of the channel. Also, you're gonna have to ignore the sleeveless shirt. It is extremely hot in my basement. I'm having AC issues and it's like 105 degrees outside. So there's that. If you have any questions, comments, or complaints, make sure to leave those in the comment section down below. As always, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and have yourself a fantastic day. Okay, this is going to be terrible to, to move around, but uh, I got two bucks on here, uh, one taking the 24 because I have a solid 24 line running throughout the house. This is an EFC, uh, ESP32 board. I don't want to give too many spoilers, but let's say I may or may not have already fried one doing this thing, so I'll show you why. On the back, let's see if I can not fry it. Look at these solder connections. I really need to clean those up. I don't know if I'm gonna clean it up, but I know that I want to, or I need to. So uh, realistically, if I just push a piece of block on the back, screw all these holes in, that'll, that will like keep it somewhat safe. Uh, I'm thinking about even doing a little tiny fan right there. So, you know, there's all of that. That's controlling all of these fans. I can turn each individual fan on and off, and I'm about to put that in. Hopefully today, I'm gonna put that into the attic. That way we can make sure that attic, I can make sure that attic stays nice and cooler, and it will also be more reliable. And then I still have to actually set the cooling for the new server. If you guys don't remember, I did the Home Assistant server. I kind of half built it, got it running, haven't wanted to take it down since. So I haven't really finished that, but I really need to do that. And it is on my list of my extended weekend to do that. So I got a lot of crap to do. Hopefully that all works out.